the Baconettes. Seen these. Not such a new flavor, but I think this is new to the Baconettes. Then they got the queso. We're going to give these a try. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Saucy Shane. I got us another good snack review tonight. Got the Baconettes. Seen these. Not such a new flavor, but I think this is new to the Baconettes. Then they got the queso. We're going to give these a try, but we're going to put a little twist on it. If you watch my brother, Oji San's World, he does the barrel-aged beers, and he'll usually pair them up with a food, a cheeseburger. He just did Dragon's Milk with a double cheeseburger. Steaks. Does food pairings with barrel-aged beers. I'm going to take a little twist on that. I'm going to pair it up with this bourbon barrel ale. Bourbon Barrel Ale, that's a, that's a tongue twister. From the Lexington Bruin. It's a Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale. I've had the Vanilla Cream Ale. I've had the Strawberry. I hadn't done a review on it. This beer sets in at 8.2% ATV. And uh, I think this will pair well with these pork skins. Now if you drink beer, beer and pork skins go hand in hand. So. We're gonna pop the top on this bad boy and get it poured in the mug and go from there. I hope y'all have had a great weekend so far. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up on your way in. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's give us a pour here. In the, in the big heavy mug. Didn't really pour that like I wanted to with the handle facing y'all, but that's okay. Very good color on it. Nice color on the head. Let's see through it somewhat. It's got a very good oakiness bourbon barrel smell to it. Mm. We're going to let that set a minute. We're going to get into these baconettes. So we got the queso flavor. We got the flaming hot. We're going to dive off in these queso. You see right there, it's new. We're all about the new product. We've had some uh, pretty bad experiences with pork rinds in the recent past. Uh, I wouldn't advise smoking them and baking them the same. Even if you got a good set of teeth, it's hard for a man to chew those things. So I'm just throwing... Uh, so number one ingredient on these queso is we got fried pork rind, salt, whey, maltodextrin. Mm. Let's get down to the meat and potatoes of this. Cheddar cheese, natural flavors, sunflower oil. Yeah. Got a lot of cheese powders, garlic powders in there. It's pretty good. We all know what queso is. The cheese it's got a it's got a cheesy aroma coming off and you know if you know pork rinds it's kind of hard to beat that pork rind smell out of the bag but these not so bad Let's try to get one of this look at that that's a that's a good one there that's a big old cow tone all right we're going to dive off into this one right here Pretty decent little amount of coating color on that. It says uh, queso. Cheers. Mm. Very good queso flavor. Mm. The baconettes, they got that uh, that crunch, but you can enjoy them. We all know old Saucy don't have very many teeth. So to, to try to enjoy a snack like that, you know, I find that uh, these, they do a good job on them. You know, they may not be the healthiest ones in the world, but they, you know, it is what it is. Let's try it with this, uh, bourbon barrel beer here. Mm. That's 
pretty good. This was sent to me by our good friend, plain old Chuck. Got his sticker right there on the board. I really do appreciate that, Chuck. We're gonna try these next, the Flaming Hot from Baconet. Spoiler alert, I have had these before. But I hadn't seen them. It says it on the bag. New. You know, Flaming Hot flavoring is not new to anybody. It's been out for a while, but I think it's new to the Baconets. They usually have uh, some other flavor profiles. Got your typical red coating on there. Let's see what it says. So we got fried pork rinds, number one ingredient. And then you got your all your red late 40s, yellow six. I don't see anything on there that says flaming hot seasoning. I don't know if that's or spices at all. Maybe it just goes without saying. Natural flavors. I doubt that's what that is. But this is the flaming hot. Let's give this one a try. Look at that. Not so much on that side, but quite a bit on that side. Cooked on the conveyor belt, probably. If you've watched my channel, if you know me, I've reviewed quite a few flaming Hot products. This one probably by far takes the cake. It's probably the best flaming Hot product I've had. I really do enjoy this. This is quite honestly my fourth bag of these that I've had. If that tells you anything. So light and fluffy. Mm. It goes really good with this. My favorite, hands down, now heat scale. You know, I'm trying to build my tolerance back up. I went live earlier today. I know you're probably seeing this on Sunday. I went live yesterday, uh, whatever you wanna call it. Went live Saturday and uh, did a bunch of drops of tincture. I talked about how my tolerance had been low and I noticed that eating some other regular foods, I noticed how I could tell they were a lot spicier than I realized before. So, been trying to work my tolerance up. I'd say these on my heat scale, uh, if I wasn't been doing a bunch of tinctures and stuff today, probably would set at about a two. Now these, these don't have no heat to them. It's got the good Mexican queso cheese flavor. It tastes like a cheese covered cow quarter I don't know pork rind queso pork rind these are brand new check them out pretty mainstream you know I found these at Walmart um, I highly highly recommend I highly recommend both of them but these flaming hot if you like the flaming hot products and you hadn't tried those I would highly recommend those this beer right here if you're into barrel aged beers this is a pretty good one and it's pretty readily available you can get them in the four pack it sets in at a 8.2 percent apv so you get those in a four pack cheers that is a wonderful pairing now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get one small one of each one and i'm going to put them together if i can find one these queso ones Get your bang for your buck here. I'm gonna snap one. We'll make it small. Double decker. My favorite things hanging out playing cards with my friends back in the day 
drinking beer, eating a big old thing of pork rinds. Really goes hand in hand. But I love you guys. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section if you've had the Baconettes Flaming Hot or the Queso. I highly recommend both of them. I'm a really big fan of that Flaming Hot one. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section if you've had the uh, Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale from Lexington Brewing. I'll leave a link in the description box below for them. I've done a review for their Vanilla Cream Ale. And I got a couple other ones in store from the same place. They got a coffee barrel stout and of course i got the strawberry i want to do another i want to do an actual review on it because it's really good guys i'll leave y'all to it uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't already ring that bell for notification be sure and check those links in the description box below like always i got my brother og sans world channel link groovy lava squirrel medic everything spicy and then of course our good friend get her done granny i got her gofundme link we're still running that gofundme link she lost everything in a horrible house fire when her house burnt down. And uh, if you can't support, can't donate through the GoFundMe link, share it out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, whatever the case may be. Sharing it gets out to the to the other public that may have a few extra dollars laying around that they want to help donate. They may want to share it out too. I'll also be dropping the YouTube channel link for Get Her Done Granny. She's monetized. You watch her playlist, you know, let them run. Give her some watch time. It all helps. I don't cost you a dime. But love you guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, night, whatever the case may be. Give a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Check out all those awesome links, guys. I love y'all. Stay safe. And until next time, stay saucy. Man, what a good combination. Mm.